In this short video, I'm going to walk you through setup of the ADS data link, which you can use to transfer data between ADS and Python. This capability can enable lots of interesting applications in ADS, like 3D plotting or instrument connectivity. I show how to enable those applications at the links here. For the ADS data link with Python to work, you will need to complete all the setup steps that I'm going to describe in this video. The first part is a download and install, then the rest is just setup. The first step is to download the Datalink Basics workspace. You can get that for free by clicking on the link below this video and logging on to the Keysight Knowledge Center. The workspace has all the files that you'll need to set up the ADS Datalink. Next, you need to install Python Anaconda. And to do that, go to this website and click on Download Anaconda for Windows. It's probably best to install the latest version, which is Python 3.5, but the Datalink also works with version 2.7. In the install process, there are a couple of options which need to be selected. Add Anaconda to the path environment variable, and make Anaconda my default Python should both be enabled. So you might want to pause the video here and download the workspace and install Python. Now that Anaconda is installed, it's good to make sure that things are properly configured. First we'll check that the Windows path variable is set. To do that, go to the Start menu and right-click Computer and then select Properties. Under Advanced System Settings, there is a button for Environment Variables, and the Anaconda install should have created a variable called Path, which points to the Anaconda directory. If that's not the case, you'll need to set up the variable to point to the place that you installed Anaconda. With the Path variable set up properly, you can call Python from the command line, which is important for the data link to work. So from the Windows command prompt, if you type Python, that should put you into the Python environment. And to exit, you can just type Control z Anaconda also comes with some built-in commands which will work on the C prompt. To install external libraries, there's a package manager called pip, which makes the process easy. For example, a library that I'll use in a later video to connect to instruments is called PyVisa. To install PyVisa, I can just type pip install PyVisa at the C prompt, and it installs automatically into Python Anaconda. Also, if you want to run Spider, which is a graphical interface for Python, just type Spider from the command window and the application pops right up. Okay, so let's switch gears now. On the ADS side, it's necessary to load all of the data link functions. These are in a file which I've included with the workspace. To find the file, open the workspace that you downloaded and from the main ADS window, click on the File View tab on the top left. Under the name of the workspace, there is a subfolder called Data. And under Data, there's another subfolder called AEL. So right-click on the AEL folder and select Explore in File System. That opens up a window, and here is a file called pythonutilities.ael. So we need to configure ADS to load this file upon startup. To do that, you need to know where your ADS home directory is. Typically, that's the directory that ADS defaults to when it starts up. If you're not sure, from the main ADS window, you can go to Tools, Command Line, and then type the following, de info get sys env, and then home in all capitals in quotes, and then two parentheses. And after you type that, hit apply. A pop-up window will appear with the location of your home directory. So for me, this is under C users, then my name, but it might be somewhere else for you. So I'll browse to my home directory, and inside there's a folder called hpesof, which is created automatically by ADS. The HP eSoft directory contains all of the user-level customization settings for ADS. You can put user-defined functions in the folder HP eSoft Expressions AEL. And for me, that directory does not exist, so I will create it. First, I'll make an Expressions folder, then inside that, an AEL subfolder. If these folders already exist for you, just browse in. Now I will copy the pythonutilities.ael file from my workspace into the home HPEsoft Expressions AEL directory. Now the AEL function is in the right place, but we still have to tell ADS to load it upon startup. When ADS starts, it looks for a function called userdefinedfun.ael, which specifies the user functions to load on startup. This file does not exist for me, so I will create it as a new text document and call it userdefinedfun.ael. The file may already exist for you. If so, just open it with Notepad and append the commands to the end. What I need to do is to go to a new line and type load python utilities.ael in quotes and then close the parentheses and then add a semicolon. 
Be sure that you add your line to the file exactly like I'm showing right here, and then save and close this file. At this point, there are two files in my directory, pythonutilities.ael and userdefinedfun.ael. And from here, I'll restart ADS. So once ADS reboots, there should be two additional files in the directory. Both of the AEL files now have an associated ATF file as well, and that's a compiled file. So if the ATF files exist, it means that ADS has properly compiled the AEL functions. They do here, so it's looking pretty good. Now let's perform one last verification. In ADS, I'll open a new data display window and add an equation. Test equals is Python installed with underscore characters and then parentheses. This equation should return yes. If it does, the ADS Python data link is ready to go. In this workspace, there is also a supplemental data display, which will take you through the setup steps that I just covered. This will automatically show where all the files and paths are in your computer, so if you need a little bit more help, walk through the steps in this data display to get everything set up. One last note, in the ADS workspace under the File View tab, Data Folder, there's another subfolder called Python, and this is where all of the Python scripts in the workspace reside. You can see these scripts by right-clicking and doing Explore in the file system. One file called ads.py contains all of the ADS data link functions for Python. The file needs to be in the same directory as the Python script that you want to run from ADS. So if you have a Python script in another directory somewhere, you'll need to copy this file into that directory to be able to access the ADS data link functions in Python. So with that, the ADS data link setup is complete. <laughs>